Hello everyone, it's Christoph uh, Schell. I'm the uh, Chief Commercial Officer at Intel and I'm here today with one of our customers, Jeff uh, Hemingworth from uh, Rakuten Symphony. It's great to have you here. Thank you very much for inviting me. So this is uh, the Mobile World Congress 2023. I'm sure it's not your first rodeo year. How do you think it compares to other shows that we had in the past? I think, I think this year it's interesting for the previous five years, we've come to the show and there's this been this mantra that 5G is the answer. I, I think at this show, there's there's almost an acceptance that maybe 5G isn't the answer, they will but, do it. but we're not sure what the answer is yet. So there's an interesting <laughs> opportunity and thought process going on saying maybe we have to think about something else. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, I, you know, I, I joined Intel a year ago and before that I had a bit of an insight into digital manufacturing, digital twins, digital printing as well, 3D printing. And I was waiting for 5G coverage yeah. to come real in order yeah. to bring these edge use cases to life. Now we're here and now we're starting talking about the next big thing. And uh, you are the forefront of this. You actually launched a device, Simware. Yep. What is this device? So as we start to open up mobile networks, which we think is the absolute future, we have to open mobile networks up and adopt technologies from outside our industry. The cloud, the, the merchant silicon that, that you're one of the leaders with, yeah. uh, and modern software. Yeah. Everything needs to move into software. Yeah. So we are great proponents of taking these technologies and truly becoming a software-based, software-first business. And that's what we've done in Rakuten Mobile in Japan. And now in Rakuten Symphony, we're absolutely driving that around the world. Okay. Now inside that, the big area, the big challenge is something called the distributed unit. And this is something that has to have tremendously high processing that is highly sensitive to latency, to any kind of lag. And it has to be tremendously cost effective. Okay. So ourselves, with your support, have worked really closely together to create what, what now is becoming, we announced at the show, Simware version 2.0 with your Intel Xeon fourth generation processor. Three times the capacity, uses less power, smaller unit. So we're really excited because what I think we're doing is we're showing how we can take COTS hardware, just open software and make a completely different industry. Because we're also changing the business model. I mean, we're selling this as a service now. And then when you can, when you translate into true software, then you can start to change the business model because you can move at the speed of the market. You move at the speed of software. Yeah. If you're moving at the speed of hardware, the service doesn't the turn up for 10 years. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think, look, this is exactly my mantra as well. The last three days, the, the cycle of innovation is so much accelerating because yeah. it's more software driven infrastructure. You have made a great uh, advancement in basically connecting hardware now to software and services, but really helping us to make that churn happen faster. For you working with Intel, how does that feel? What would you have to give to us as a feedback? There's a lot of my employees here that are gonna watch this video. What would be your message to us? What we, what we appreciate from our relationship with the Simware development is, is when you're in the trenches with us. So it's, this is a hard journey. We're doing very new things. Uh, we, we're answering questions we don't know the answer to, and sometimes we have problems. Yeah. And when we have problems, we need to resolve them really quickly. Mm. So when we have a phone number and, and we can call somebody in Intel and they can immediately go down to whatever level we need the support on, that's tremendously valuable to us. And we really appreciate that. So if, if we could have as much of that as possible, that would be great. That's absolutely correct. I think we want to do that as well. And then going jointly to market as well, not just meeting customers, but since you're the CMO, how do you think about demand generation, value proposition in a very much changing landscape of how we go to market? Well, I, th I think we've collaborated for the last three years and we see the results in, in Japan now. And yeah. uh, it's really about seeing the business results. I mean, we've taken 30 to 50% of the cost structure out of deploying yeah. the network, which means hundreds of millions of dollars are then available to reinvest into creating value above the network, which is what we have to do as an industry. So jointly taking that message, taking those outcomes, 
and helping existing operators and existing businesses to understand where to start yeah. is exactly what we need to do. We have to educate. I agree. We have to educate. I think we have to transition to manage outcomes for our customers and being compensated on the outcomes when we actually reach them, not before. <laughs> so I think this is a big change, I think, for us in the industry. I think together we can drive that. Uh, we're looking forward. Jeff, thanks a lot for the partnership. Really appreciate it. Thanks for coming. Thank you very much. Okay, bye-bye.